All right, so the 2024 MLB season is right around the corner, and that got Evan and I thinking, what are some hot takes we've got for the season? Evan, I'll let you start. Man, oh, man, you guys got to tell us, are these um, not hot enough? Are they way too hot to where, you know, they're unrealistic? You guys got to let us know in the comments. But anyways, we so we kind of made a rule. We're going to do five for each league, American and National, but also two are for our team. So we're starting with the American League. I'm going to start with the two for the White Sox. That is my team, of course, if you follow the – the channel throughout. Um, my first one, 45 home runs for drum roll, Aoi Jimenez. I think he will finally break out this year. If you look at the numbers, this isn't too extreme. I mean, he's we're talking about a guy who's never played more than 120 games in a season in his career, and he's been in the big leagues for five years. So injuries is for sure the bad thing with him. Uh, but if he does play that far, um, you know, say a full season, maybe he probably, he's probably not a 160 game, but maybe he plays 150 um, games in a season. His highest in a season was 31 home runs. 45 is not out of the question. It would take extra, but he for sure has the power. He just has to get in a groove. Um, that's my first one though. Aoi Jimenez, maybe only 55. I don't know. He will at least hit 45 home runs, 45 home runs or more. Um, that's my first one. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll boss to you, Jordan. What's one of your American league ones? Um, I believe the Baltimore Orioles will finish with the best record in baseball. Mm. Close um, th this is a team last year that we saw have the best record in the American League, right? You go out and a about a week ago, you acquire Corbin Burns from the Brewers. Uh, bonafide ace, uh, top of the rotation guy. Uh, he he's going to fit in well in Baltimore, and I believe the Orioles will finish with the best record in baseball. Okay, my next one, and my other White Sox one. This is my last White Sox one. Dylan Cease will be traded to, a lot of people thought the Orioles, but now they got Corbin Burns. Dylan Cease will be traded to the Boston Red Sox during the trade deadline, not before the season. Let me explain why. Dylan Cease's value is a little down this year. Um, he had a so-so season last year. He had something like a four ERA. He had a really bad second half. His value is down. I know the White Sox, and for the, my White Sox fans watching the video, you're probably like, Evan, why on earth do you want to trade Dylan Cease? I don't. I just understand how the baseball <laughs> – I just understand how it operates. I, I do not want to trade Dylan Cease, but I know how the White Sox front office operates. They're going to want to get some pieces for him. So say he comes out and he has like a 2.5 ERA, and it's July, and the White Sox are maybe around 500. Um, I hope more, but maybe they're around 500. Teams are going to want him. Why the Boston Red Sox? Well, the Red Sox are looking to bounce back. They've struggled the, the last few years. I think the last time they made the playoffs was 2021. Um, I think they'll likely be better this year. But more importantly, they have a stacked farm system. I saw rankings. They were ranked number three in terms of farm. Orioles were number one, but Orioles just got corn birds. So I see specifically Cease going to the Red Sox um, at the trade deadline. Um, why it's bold. This is one of my lesser ones, I think. But why it's bold is because I'm calling the team. It's going to be the Boston Red Sox. Uh, Jordan, what's another AL one you got? Um, so a couple of years ago, we saw Aaron Judge at 62 home runs, right? Set the American League record. This year, I believe he'll hit at least 70. Jeez. And no roids, but yeah. <laughs> nope. Straight up 70 home runs. No, he, he will not get caught cheating. That's crazy. Um, I could see it. I, I All right. Another American League one. I have a Yankees one, so we'll stick with the Yankees topic. The Yankees, this will finally be the year. We talk about the Yankees. They get all these players. You sign Garrett Cole for, like, crazy amounts. This offseason, you get Juan Soto. When are they going to have – I'm not predicting a World Series or anything. They will win at least 100 games this year. I think they will finally put it together, at least in the regular season, and have just a crazy year. So I'm going to stick with the Yankees with you, Jordan, on that one. They will win 100-plus. What's another one you got? All right, so – We've been accustomed to seeing this team in the postseason. They've made, I believe, six straight ALCS appearances. This one might be completely almost impossible and really bold, but the Houston Astros will miss the postseason. How dare you? No, I, I, I why is that? I don't know. It's, it, so the, the point of bold takes, right? Go big or go home. And I feel like I had to put one really bold one in here, and that's my really bold one. No, I like you for putting that one. Um, can't stand the Astros, but they are good. I give them credit for that. Uh, another one, another American League one. I've got the Twins underperforming. I think they will win 70 games or below. I think they will win seven. Now, that's that's pretty extreme. They were just in the American League uh, divisional round last year. 
Here's the thing with the Twins. All the all my AL Central friends, you guys know this. The people not in the AL Central who don't root for an AL Central team, they don't understand this. The Twins, the even-year Twins are different. They underperform. The odd-year Twins do better. You look back at 2019, they were pretty decent. It's true. They, oh, that, wow, man. Who looks at that? Who looks at that? The odd year. And, and there's a reason for this. The Twins don't buy like crazy. Some, sometimes you'll get in streaky. I mean, I'm not trying to take away. Royce Lewis had an insane season last year. Of course, you got guys like Brian, Byron Buxton, you know, Max Kepler. You've got great hitters. I'm not denying that. Um, but outside of that, they don't have a great team. They will win 70 games or below. Uh, Jordan, what's another American League one you got? Julio Rodriguez will win AL MVP. I like that one. I I don't really have any rhyme or reason for this one. It's just a flashy name. Um, I just think he's one of the best players in baseball, and he'll win American League MVP. Yeah, that's a rock solid one too, and he has a winning attitude. I like that about him as well. All right, my last American League one, the Oakland A's. Why do I got to pick on them? This is the last, possibly the last season in Oakland. Uh, Bradley, of course, PWTB member. If you're watching this, I'm sorry. The Oakland A's will win 50 games, which is what they won last year. Or below. You know what? I'm going to forget the 50 games. They will lose more games than they did last year. Oh. Re- relocate. Yes, that's a that's a rough one. Relocation Ooh. is an ugly thing, especially the way the A's are doing it. So you essentially already given the finger to the fans, right? They already know you're leaving. Nobody's going to show up to the games. Um, it gets really ugly. I think a different sport, but the Houston Oilers, of course, I'm a Titans fan. Um, I related to that a little bit because they went through the same thing in the 90s. It's going to get really ugly for the A's. They're going to win less than 50 games. Uh, that's my last American League one. Jordan, what's, what's yours? Uh, my last American League one is Mike Trot will stay healthy and will go 40-40 this year. Uh, it he, He's only reached 40 stolen bases one time in his 10-year career, I believe, and that was in 2012. Uh, Mike Trout will go 40-40 this year. Yeah, that's a that's a bold one, especially most people are writing them off. That's a that's a pretty bold one. Um, all right, let's move to the National League. Of course, Jordan has his Braves ones in there. Um, I will start it off because I'm you know I'm non biased in the National League, and then we'll flip over to Jordan. Uh, the Diamondbacks will not and not that they're going to miss the World Series. They're going to miss the playoffs. Kind of what Jordan was going with the, the Astros. Now the Diamondbacks haven't had the success, but of course they made the World Series last year. So that's a big step up. I, again, same thing with kind of my twins prediction. I like the Diamondbacks, Kettle Marte, uh, Walker, the first baseman. You've got Corbin Carroll, of course. They've got good players. Um, they just still, they seemed a little bit fluky last year. A little bit. Good players, but they won 84 games and went to the World Series. That's going to be tough to repeat. Um, I have them missing the playoffs as a bold prediction this year. Jordan, what's your first National League one? Um, the Los Angeles Dodgers, we've seen this team uh, make make the postseason consistently and underperform consistently. So mine is the Dodgers will not win 100 games and will lose in the LDS again. I would like that one, too. Uh, the Dodgers get a little cocky, especially after their offseason binge. Not starting right. with the Braves, though. You're going to save that one for last? Uh, I will do the Braves last, yes. Okay, fair enough. And he said he had three of them. So we'll we'll continue going with that. Three um, Braves ones, yes. I have, for another one, I have the Cubs winning the NL Central, but not only winning the NL Central, they're going to win it by at least 10 games. Um, I think, you know, I think they've made good offseason moves this year. Um, I I know Bellinger and that whole situation didn't, but but they're still a solid team. Dansby Swanson was a very good hitter with them last year. Um, And most importantly, the NL Central hasn't really had anyone break out for a while. It was supposed to be the Reds for a little bit. They stunk it up last year. The Brewers have been really solid. we got to give credit to them, but they haven't been great enough. And, And the Cardinals, too. The division's just been looking for someone to take it over. I think the Cubs will take it over this year. I think they're going to win it by at least 10 games. That's my bold take on them. All right. my Mine is the Reds will make the postseason. Mm. Um, we've seen that, uh, you know, last year during the 13-game uh, win streak, I believe it was, maybe 14, you know, guys like Ellie De La Cruz, Matt McClain, Spencer Steer, all made their uh, presence known. And I believe that this year they will uh, take the next step and lead the Reds to the postseason. All right, here's my biggest one. I think this is my biggest one. I want to see what Jordan All right, all right. Shohei Otani, who just got paid all that money. You know, he's coming. He's hurt. That's why he's not going to pitch in 2024. He's hurt. Um, so He'll he's hit, though. He'll so hit, he's though. Exclusive. Yeah, I, look, I, I verified that one, Jordan. Um, he's going to exclusively bat this year. So most 
conventional thinking is that he's going to go insane because he only has to focus on batting. Shohei Otani will finish below 250 batting average and he will finish below 340 on base percentage. Um, I think last year he batted like 310 something and like 410 uh, on base percentage. That but is completely insane. That one is insane. Here's why. It's I think the injury, and he's been used to, most importantly, he's been used to pitching and hitting his entire life. Um, I think that's going to mess with him a little psychologically. I think I think he's going to start out slow, um, and uh, we'll see. He'll, he's still a great player, of course. Um, I see the numbers tanking. I've got him under 250 and under 340 uh, for on base percentage, but um, that's probably my biggest one, I think. All right, so now on to my Braves ones. Uh, like I said, I have three. Uh, the first one I'm going to mention is I believe Spencer Strider will strike out 300 or more batters and win the National League Cy Young this year. Uh, we saw last year he struck out, I believe, 284, 284 batters. Um, but the, the, the knock on him was his pitch count just got high early in games, so he couldn't pitch deeper in the game, six, seven, sometimes maybe eight innings. I believe that another year of experience will help him and he'll last longer in games and strike out more batters, 300 Cy Young winner. I really hope he turns into an ace. He's, he was an exciting pitcher to last or watch last year, but um, all right, I've got two more. And then of course, Jordan has two more Braves ones. My second to last one, you know, I predicted the Yankees to do well. What about the other New York team? They had an abysmal season last year. Um, of course, I predicted them to win the division. Oops. Ugh, the Mets, <laughs> but the Mets, they put way too much money into, into this to suck another year. I predict the Mets will win 95 plus games. Um, I'm not predicting the division just because that division is so good, but they're going to win 95 plus games from a team that only had 70 something wins last year. Um, I think they will. I think they will get it going on all fronts this year. Uh, Mets 95 plus win. All right. So last year we saw Ronald Acuna Jr. Right, historic 40 70 season. Never been done in LB history. I'll take it a step further. He'll go 50-70 this year. Ooh, I like that. How much home runs did he have exactly last year? Do you know? 42, I believe. 43. Okay. That's still pretty bold. I like that one. Um, all right. Final ones. Uh, Jordan will get the last word with one of his Braves ones. I have the Padres. Oh, the poor Padres, man. I And especially, I don't want to pile on them too much because I know, I think one of their front office ex executives or their owner uh, just recently passed away. But, I, you know, that's part of it, too, because so the guy passes away and then you immediately trade Juan Soto to the Yankees. I mean, I, again, I don't follow the Padres super um, close, of course, so I'm not going to comment too much on that. That just seems ridiculous, but they seem like they're going back to the losing ways. This is pretty bold, too. Give me the Padres at 65 wins or below. Um, I think they're going to have a very rough year. Even with Machado and Tatis? Even with Machado and Tatis, I think Tatis could have a good year. Um, I especially with the Dodgers in that division, it's 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 going to be tough for them. Um, and pitching has been a problem. It's uh, I, of course Blake Snell had a fabulous year last year. Don't get me wrong on that, but he did. He um, did. There it, again, individual players. I don't think I don't think the team's going to be that great. Give me 60, sixty-five or below. All right, now this one, I believe, might be bold, but I don't know how bold it actually is. Matt Olson, um, you got to figure he'll be hitting cleanup, so he'll he'll have a lot of RBI opportunities, right? Last year we saw how many homers he hit as well, so I'm going to go. Matt Olson hits 50 or more homers and has 150 or more RBIs. Uh, ideally, ideally you got to think he's got to hit maybe four, five, six grand slams to hit this number. Uh, we, and we've seen the amount of power he has, so I think it's possible to do. Might be a little bold, but we'll see. Yeah, those are like, I don't know if you remember Ryan Howard when he was the Phillies. Those are like some numbers. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that's that would be, I could see it. Olsen's really good. Yeah, Ryan Howard always uh, tormented the Braves. <laughs> this is an add-on from the video you just saw. Uh, that was recorded on Tuesday with me and Jordan. Now it's Thursday. Jake wanted to add some MLB hot takes. Um, Jake, what are your biggest bold predictions uh, for the MLB season? I believe you said you had three. Yeah, we got some MLB hot takes. We got a couple in the National League and one in the American League. Um, number one, I would go with we're going to Atlanta. Spencer Strigo. I feel like Spencer Strigo is going to have an ERA under two and win the NFC on this year. Under two? Okay. 
That's what Jordan well, and Lee... Spencer Strider won. It was a little different, though. He was talking about strikeouts, but. All right. While well, leading the Atlanta Braves to a 100 win season yet again. And then another one in the National League, the Milwaukee Brewers, with the subtraction of Corbin Burns, will still make the playoffs. Pretty bold. And then we head to the American League, Mike Trout. Mike Trout hits 35 plus homers, leads the Angels to the first playoff appearance in a while. That's 2014, that would be, I believe. That's pretty bold. The Brewers one's a little less bold, because, but I had a little less bold ones, too, because the Brewers, um, I had one about the White Sox that were so bold. But um, all right, you heard it from Jake. I'm going to put him on the spot for one more. One more Miami Marlins ra- related, obviously his team, uh, bold prediction for 2024. Miami Marlins says, as a, the Miami Marlins as a team, Hits 150 homers. Okay. That is pretty bold. Yeah, some of the, you're going to have to have a couple 30 guys in least, but uh, maybe even 40 guys.